Oh my goodness, this is so heavy. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Chesrell and today's video is going to be a video that I haven't actually made in a little while. So I'm excited about doing one of these videos for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so about I would say maybe, I don't know, I always feel like maybe four or five days ago I went vintage shopping for the first time in a long time and Maverick and I find some amazing things. Okay, so we went to one of our favorite vintage stores, which is Playcoast Vintage, which is in Burbank, and we found so many goodies, you guys. So today's video is gonna be a vintage haul, so I can show you guys some of the cool things that we picked up. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I have so much stuff to show you guys. A mixture of Maverick stuff and myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I do not want to break anything. Okay, so let's get started with the haul. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so the first items that I want to share with you guys, as you guys know, I love wearing separate. So anything from like shorts, capris, pencil skirts, you name it, I love it. So I find these guys, now these are called dead stock, which means that they've never been worn. So it still has the original tags on them. And these were from the 60s, I believe they said. But for me, like I just love anything high-waisted and their little capris. Um, and I just really loved um, the design. The design is just super pretty and super cool. And I can't wait to pair it with maybe like a white blouse and like tie it or like an off the, the shoulder top or something like that. I would definitely love to pair it with that. Or even like, I do have like some blue and some orange tops. I don't know, we'll see. But I feel like maybe that would like overpower it. Um, so maybe I can just go with like a basic white top to go with these, but these are really, really cool. And I'm so excited to wear them. And especially because they're dead stock, because they've never been used. Okay, the next piece is another pair of trousers and these are linen orange ones. Again, these are from the 60s um, and they're just like really nice. They're like really light. Um, right now, I just said earlier that it was really, really warm here in LA so I can still get away with wearing some like light clothes before it gets really, really cold. But again, you can wear it with a simple blouse or even like a sweater or any kind of top really, whatever you want. And again, you can style it for nighttime so add like a nice little halter top um, or a nice little fancy top and some nice heels and a bag and things and you're good to go. Okay, so let's see what else is in these bags. I think some of this stuff is Maverick, so I'm going to wait on Maverick to show you guys. Um, okay, this, <laughs> like, these are, like, so cool, you guys. So, these are little sandals, little wedge sandals, and they are so comfortable. I've actually never got any, like, original sandals like this, like wedges, um, from the 50s, and I just thought these were super cute. They are like red um, and white but they have like little flowers on them and it's kind of like a straw material um, but it's really sturdy. Um, I'm going to clean them up a little bit because I feel like they need cleaned up because they're a little bit dirty um, but honestly like as it says here it says foam step and they are like really soft <laughs> um, so I'm excited about trying these on. They're really nice for like if you're just going to like do some errands and want to buy the place um, or even just send by the pool, you could pair up with a nice like swimsuit or bikini um, and it's super cute. So I was so surprised these were going to fit me because usually most things do not fit me. Um, but yeah, so these were I think $35. So not like too um, cheap, not too expensive. So it was pretty good price. Okay, so unfortunately while um, this was traveling, one of the crystals fell out of this belt, which is really sad, but I'll get some glue, super glue, and super glue it back together. But this is a belt, a gold belt. As you guys know, I love metal belts. So this one is like a, a stretchy belt, and it goes fully around my waist. I don't know, if, oh, some more glue coming out. Oh. Okay, I'll just let it come out. <laughs> um, it's super stretchy, 
and it just clasps together just like so and then it will sit like this around your waist um, or you can put around hips whatever you feel um, but most of the time they would wear these around their waist um, and it's like super cute it has these cute little crystals cute little design and I'm just excited about wearing this but I'm gonna fix it because this little crystal came off it's a little kind of flower one and um, so I'm gonna put that back together I'm sorry about my nails you guys like generally I need to get them fixed <laughs> Um, and one snap and it snapped like some of my nail too so it hurt and I was trying to find like a plaster or band-aid for it um, but I couldn't find one so I'm booked in to get my nails fixed finally after so long you guys um, my goodness <laughs> I feel like I'm like bending down to like everywhere like crawling around our neighbors are probably looking at me like what is she doing? <laughs> Okay, so as you guys know, I love collecting lots of old makeup and we find these at Play Close too and these are original little powder puffs. So these are just like your normal powder puffs that you would get today and um, from like Laura Mercier or any makeup brand would sell them. Um, but these have never been used. I don't know if these are from a hotel. I don't know who KD of Hollywood is. Um, I need to like look that up but it has like little movie cameras and people like as if they're making a movie and some palm trees so I'm not really sure but we do have two of them I'm gonna look them up and see um, what they are like what kind of brand they are and um, but definitely something really cool so I'm excited to add these to my collection as you guys know like I love my own makeup okay so the next two things I want to show you guys um, are some are two things that I've been wanting to well I've been wanting to collect for a while I just haven't really found some of the right pieces because it's so hard to find like genuinely as you guys know I love like metal belts um, and I managed to find a few copper belts and I managed to find some copper cuffs so these are original copper cuffs and you can like bend them to shape to your wrist or wherever you want to put it and um, I know I do have one that like will sit up here on my arm which is like really really cool and I can definitely show you guys and um, but this one has like a little design on it which is super cute and um, has some donkeys on it and you can just whoo, put it on and then bend it into your arm and it kind of looks like this and I know like in some like Hollywood movies sometimes they would have like gold ones and they cuff them and put them at like the bottom of like a long sleeve jumper or something like that and um, if they did have two matching ones of these I definitely would have planned to do that but um, these are just super cute on their own um, and they really fit anybody you just like just bend it as I said or stretch it out to whatever size that you need um, which is really cool. So, so these are the copper bracelets, you guys. And I'm excited to pair these up with some outfits. As you guys know, I do have some copper belts. Um, I think I have one pair of copper earrings. I should probably try and see if I can find more in like a necklace or something so I can have like a matching set, but it's impossible to find matching sets, as you guys know. Like with copper things, it's just impossible. Um, I would definitely be on the lookout for anything like that. I feel like I need to collect something like that. Okay, as we're talking about copper items, I did find another copper belt. So I think this, is, I think I have like only like a few in my collection. So whenever I see one, I have to get it because I cannot find any more of them on eBay or Etsy. And it's really, really hard. So whenever you find them um, in the stores, I'm always like, okay, I have to have it if it fits me. Because sometimes they don't fit because then they'll have like a gap at the back and you don't really want that. Um, or else it'll really really hurt you it'll like dig in it'll just it'll just frustrate you the whole time but this is this one and it has like these kind of like you know, like i don't know i just call them flowers i don't know what you call them and you just clasp it like behind um hold on till I show you. so behind each flower there's like a little clasp and you just clasp it into whatever length or whatever size you want it um for your outfit and it just closes like so and then people ask me like do they hurt and honestly you guys they do not hurt they actually are kind of nice um it's not like a corset but i do have ones that are like really tight that can be like a corset kind of style like hold you in at the waist but most of the time like these ones they don't really hurt and um, they just kind of sit there unless like you're sitting in a weird position and then you might feel some pain i don't know i've only worn them out maybe like five times 
I tend to not really wear them. I kind of wear them more kind of like Christmas time, wintery time, just because it matches more of my like, kind of like darker outfits or for say. <laughs> um, it doesn't really match that well with like some of my shorts and t-shirts and things like that. But I do love collecting them. I love like taking care of them and things like that. Oh, I generally knew felt like <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is one of the last pieces that I'm going to show you guys and it is this super cute painting, um, big and black bag um, and I just really like the design. Maverick picked this one out for me um, and it has this kind of like crinkled design and it is like meant to be like that which is cute and it has a double strap and then, okay, and then you just kind of like pop this open and then inside, you can like get rid of the handle inside if you want um, and you can make it a clutch bag and then inside has some tissue paper and it's actually like, really like a decent size i'm not gonna lie you can fill like a decent amount of things in there your phone some makeup some chewing gum or whatever you need and then it just clasps back together and there you have it <laughs> a cute little bag so i've been looking for a painted um black bag because um i have like some painted black shoes and i just don't have a bag to match it so we find this one i think it was like I don't know, like eight or ten dollars like nothing like too expensive so which pretty good <laughs> okay two more things to show you guys and then that's it <laughs> we're done um okay so as i showed you guys earlier um the little gold belt with the jewels as you guys know i love collecting them i've just got another one um whenever i see these i have to get them as well because you guys know i love like gold accessories and belts. I'm obsessed with belts, you guys. You'll find out how obsessed I am, <laughs> tell you. But this one is like really bizarre. So what you do is you clip it here and then you would wrap this like over and under or like just over one time, whatever you, you feel. And you clasp it into the other side and it kind of gives you this kind of like, kind of rope kind of style. Um, and it just goes around your waist. And it is super cute, you guys and it actually is in amazing condition and um, so i was like really happy to find this and again these bells are so cheap you guys a lot of people i think always ask me and say like you guys must spend so much money on vintage and honestly we don't like we literally do not spend that much money on vintage like we can find vintage things for like like really really cheap um don't yeah because i think like some vintage things it looks because it's so old you would think that it'd be so expensive but honestly it's cheaper than modern clothes like definitely cheaper than modern clothes <laughs> okay and one of the last things i'm going to show you guys is this belt so i do have a few of these belts and um, they're like gold kind of shimmery like a snake kind of belt oh. <laughs> and i loved it because of this so it has like an old kind of line face and it's kind of heavy but this is like really stretchy material and again you just like clip it in here and it sits on your waist like this and it's really really cute on like you can style it with like capris leggings i don't know shorts skirts dresses everything like that's why i love like belts like this because like in the 50s and like like the 40s and sometimes in the 60s they did wear like a lot of things to hold in their waist so like belts were very popular with a lot of items like their dresses would come with matching belts and it's always like amazing when you get like a dress or like a pair of trousers that come with a matching belt like, that is just like a dream whenever i find that i'm just like oh my goodness this is amazing <laughs> those guys are probably like oh my goodness jasmine like you're so sad <laughs> but genuinely i love that and that's why I love collecting belts because I love accessorizing my outfits. So you can take it from like a daytime outfit to a nighttime outfit, um, which is the same outfit, which is so amazing. So you can get like more outfits, um, which is adding different accessories. That was something that was really, really good back then as well. But yeah, that is the last piece um, that I've got to show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this vintage haul. And if you'd like me to do more of these or just to show you more like my clothes and things like that, then please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have an amazing day. And if you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, a comment and to share and subscribe. And yeah, so I love you all so much and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye.